Hey, who locked the door? Let me in. Uh, sorry, I, I just tend to read things that are on screen. I mean, hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 4. We're going back to Jim Pickens and Turk in um, Eco whatever this pack is called. <laughs> God, I'm unprofessional. But yeah, let's jump into the game, whatever this game might be. <laughs> so we're quite low on money. I think it might be a good idea to try and uh, save up a bit of cash or maybe do some schemes to get some money. Maybe some thievery might be a good idea because we don't have much furniture either. <laughs> Honestly, life isn't looking too great now for, for either of our protagonists. And we need to solve the issue of only having one bed, but that's for another day. I like how they have this shower as well in front of the massive windows. <laughs> like for once, I didn't do this. This is just the way it was. We still need to make that rug. For some reason, last time we accepted a job to, to make someone a rug, even though we have no idea about rugs at all. Like, no, not a mind making them. You know how to make rugs, and I've got Samoans. Maybe we can help each other out. I don't know why they think I can make rugs. Oh, that person has a bag on their head. <laughs> Turk can relate. <laughs> Turk go there. Maybe this is like the village elder. He's living in hiding, and he's the only one who can teach Turk how to make a rug. Hello, bag face. Please, teach me your wisdom. No, Bagface, come back! Come back! Okay, and now Jim is gone. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he flew off to sleep on this park bench. All right, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Oh, yes, he made food. Great. Okay, take one and behave just like you did in the online version. Put away the rest of it. Just pack it into a bagged lunch for yourself. Turk, go hunting. Turk, find food. This is his version of hunting. He's like, ooh, wild burger. And pack them all away. Take them, take them. Stuff all those burgers in your pockets. You're gonna be like, ah, uh, sir. <laughs> Can you empty your pockets, please? There's just burgers falling out of them. Bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe lot taxes. What's that? What? Wait, you have 24 hours to pay before we shut your utilities off one by one. I don't even use power anyway. <laughs> Wait, where's Turk going? Oh, it's his turn on the bench, I see. Hello, I'm sad and I smell, but I'd like to come inside. Oh, I need to go tinkle. It <laughs> just paces all over their front door. All right, what's the most valuable thing in this house that I could try and steal? Um, they do say a child is priceless. Can I steal their child? Can I try and steal a bed? I could actually really use a bed, to be honest, if you wouldn't mind. God damn it, you can't steal beds. All right, if you can fit like 50 burgers in your pockets, you can fit a bed in there. Oh, that looks expensive. Jim, go up and steal that. Why are you naked? Why, why, where was he? What? Why is he naked in their house? There are children here. No, no, this isn't inappropriate. Really? So I can be naked in your house, but I can't be naked in your shower. <laughs> like, honestly, if I was watching this series, I would think that I'm setting things up. Like, I tell Jim to go naked and tell him to come upstairs. But like, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't do that. He just showed up naked and I don't know why. <laughs> this is inappropriate. Please stop. How am I supposed to know it's time to stop if you don't have a clock in the house, huh? <laughs> She's like, what do you mean we don't have a clock? There's a clock. Wait a second. <laughs> I like how he stopped, but then immediately started cooking something else instead. <laughs> okay, enough is enough. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Turk just walked into a child's bedroom and started playing Tetris. Turk, 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 What are you doing? Stop getting angry at me. Jim doesn't deserve this. <laughs> hey, Bonnie Mershaw. <laughs> Turk just fell asleep. He fainted at the mere sight of Jim doing something bad. Wait, he got kicked out, but I froze them. I can't unfreeze them now. Oh no, he's just walking back in. Great, he doesn't care. I thought that would actually kick me out, but no, I'm just gonna pick up my eggs and uh, go back to cooking if that's okay. <laughs> and now I can get ice cubes for my drink too. That's nice. Okay, we did get kicked out. It just didn't work properly because Turk was sleeping and there was still someone in my household inside, so Jim was able to walk back in, but then as soon as Turk got out, it registered that both of them had left, but now Jim is inside the house and I can see him <laughs> in the kitchen scheming or something and I can't go into him because the, the house is empty. <laughs> Great. Jim? Jim, where is he? I can see her frozen in there. Where are you? Okay, I'm going home. All right, that, that situation resolved. <laughs> That's so weird. We really have to solve this one bed situation, but um, for now, can you go sleep on the couch, Turk? Turk's just like, if you are happy, I am happy. <laughs> Walks off to, to nap. It's not even that it's a couch. It's like upstairs in the sun. He must be boiling and there's no curtains or anything. Wait, you're the talk of the town? What? I'm probably the talk of the town for the wrong reasons. Look at me. <laughs> Look at my little profile picture. I bet you'll be considered a visionary in no time. Well, well it helps when a self-portrait looks 
looks like a feckin' Picasso. I know just the tricks you need to bootstrap you. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll we'll join the painter career as a canvas creator. Look, rank five. Amazing. Why would they hire me? I just got a two grand bonus for no reason. <laughs> Tarek has stopped pursuing work as a freelance crafter. He decided it was time for a new direction career-wise. I think he just finally gave up and went, look, I just don't know what a rug is. I'm sorry. I can't make it for you. He has zero in the painting skill, but he's a level five painter and he's getting paid 35 an hour. Oh my god, he just fell into a job. Everything good happens to Turg. It's just his positive attitude. Meanwhile, Jim is working as a tough guy every single day of the week. He has no days off and getting nine bucks an hour. Jim, go ask Turg to become partners in crime. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to do crime. It's the one thing he's passionate about. No, Turg do good. Oh. Turg is going streaking. Jim dared him to streak. And now he's just going out in the rain with his umbrella, mind you, to go streaking. And off he goes with his umbrella to streak. <laughs> he's just running around the docks naked, but he's got to have that umbrella. Okay, I hope there's no trains still active. Okay, no, this this is okay. This is an old railway bridge, but no, it's fine. All right, keep going, Turg. Godspeed, young man. Godspeed. All right, with that uh, money boost from Turg, we can get a bed. I'd love if they could get bunk beds. Is that possible? That would be so adorable. Just the two of them. Or maybe I could get just a dog bed for Turg. <laughs> like this little egg. Oh, I was thinking this would be a good Turg bed, but it's for toddlers only. It doesn't work for adults. Ah, <sighs> they grow up so fast. I think one of these Murphy beds would be cool, but like, it's it, they're all double beds. I I want single beds, because they're, they're buddies. You know, to be fair, I don't think they'd mind bunking together. We can do that. Look at that. That's just lovely. That's actually quite nice, and that'll transform into a bed. It has a bookcase, and it's got a little couch, and the bed behind it. God, that is lovely. And now we need something for painting because he actually doesn't know how to paint and he, he really has to learn that. All right, we'll put it over there next to the um, insect farm. I'm not quite sure why I have that, to be honest. All right, a punching bag, even though I think Turg would feel guilty about violence even against bags. Uh, I just need to find a feckin' spot for it now is the problem. This can be his workout room. Like, this is actually a cool house, like built out of shipping containers, to be fair. It's very quirky. Oh my God, I need electricity to put the bed down. <laughs> it will go down. I don't even use power anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm refusing to pay those bills. I'm not feckin' paying those taxes. So we just need to make money elsewhere and buy tons of solar panels, I think. Because <laughs> otherwise I have no power and I can't use my bed. <laughs> Voting is now closed. Free love received the most votes. What is free love? What? Does that mean prostitution is free now? Turk have to sell body. <laughs> <laughs> when free love reigns, you can gain influence through romance interactions. Okay, that's should be easy. Okay, uh, Turk, hurry. We don't have much water. <laughs> yeah, go play in the rain. That'll help your hygiene. <laughs> that was playing in the rain? He took one step outside and went, nah. <laughs> Can relate. Turk is very, very relatable. Oh my god. <laughs> please, Turk, won't someone please think of the children? <laughs> He's just in his underwear practicing his punching. All right, let's head out. I want to see, can I steal solar panels? <laughs> that would be amazing, but I don't think it's going to happen. We'll go to this crane building where we murdered someone last time. Well, to be fair, we didn't murder them. They killed themselves. And actually, that, that is true for once. Oh, there's a fire started. Why do bad things follow us? Like, that wasn't me. Uh, I'm going to take um, this random child with us this time. Oh, good, he's cooking. Even though the last time we arrived here, they were also cooking. They immediately got set on fire. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. I like how Turg didn't even get dressed, by the way. He just showed up in his socks and sandals. <laughs> Feck. We can't steal the wind turbine anyway. I, I imagine that would be kind of hard to smuggle, to be fair. Oh, they're mid-painting. I don't like it. Scrap it. <laughs> She's like, I don't think that was yours to throw away. Uh, let's do a painting. It might be a good idea. Paint from reference. Yes. This will get us some cash for a solar panel. Ah, oh, yes. Just like I said earlier. <laughs> Picasso. <laughs> What's he even eating? Where did you get this? And why aren't you eating the tons of burgers that are in your pockets? Oh, yeah because uh, yeah. they you, okay. you left your pants at home that's why oh man i left my burgers in my other pants <laughs> she's oh. like huh? <laughs> i just realized that they gave me a career award of an easel even though i never progressed in this career they just gave me a, a job i'm not qualified for but i still got the career award but i already bought an easel for feck's sake this is inappropriate i'm going to have to ask you to stop <laughs> even though it's your own house and i'm after scrapping your painting and now i'm painting this also this is a kid i found <laughs> <laughs> it must be so confused. Congratulations, Jim. Just finished painting a masterpiece. Oh my god. 
Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. This, on the other hand, is feckin' terrifying. Why have they merged? <laughs> Jim is lost in her hair. Okay, no matter where I pause this, it's just getting scarier. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Critically assess. Yeah, go ahead. What do you think of that picture of you? I mean, technically, he's the actual painter here. He's employed as a painter, so we should respect his opinion. Oh, my God, it's worth three grand. And an art gallery wants to buy it. Put it in your inventory. That We can't sell that. It's worth too much emotionally. You have 24 hours to pay your bills before your water's shut off. I don't care. I'm still not selling my painting for that. Another painting. Another. There we go. This one's a bit more raunchy. <laughs> it's just his model. Oh, yeah, go for it. Turn woohoo with her. She's like, oh, but Jim is painting right Right there. Oh, he won't mind. <laughs> oh, wait, I think she actually doesn't mind. Or, or no, Turg does, okay. They're trying to kick him out. All right, fine. <laughs> but I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. How did you get so dirty? What were you doing? <laughs> he was perfectly clean. Oh my god, it's another masterpiece. I can't bring myself to sell them. Okay, this isn't a good way to earn money. <laughs> yes, I just swiped the juice machine. <laughs> she was too busy recycling. Wait, what is this? Entrepreneur's table? You can sell stuff? Oh my god. I can just become a fence just selling stolen property. Come on, Turk, I got a new scheme. <laughs> Okay, the only problem is I have $48, so I can't even afford the table. <laughs> Maybe I can sell some of the stuff I've stolen. Okay, is it in the household inventory he's putting all these things? Yes! Okay, here's everything I've stolen. Picture-perfect art lighting, which is great, since we have that painting to put up. This painting storage rack we could sell. Uh, study of the human form. Uh, no, why would we want that when we've pictures of Turg? None of my furniture is gonna fit this house because everything is just stolen. And <laughs> just mix and match. There we go. Now that is motivation. That is nice. Oh my god, this is worth even more. 3,644. And to think he posted it to his OnlyFans for just $5.99 a month. Why is he telling a story to the clock? <laughs> He's talking with friends, apparently. Put bed down. Okay, I have power. Quick, put it down and leave it down. Yes, there we go. I have a bed. Today is a good day. Okay, here we go. Here's my table. What? could Jim pick and sell down by the docks. It sounds so dodgy. Okay, so you put the stuff up here. I've got some fish. I've got my birth certificate. Can I sell that? God damn it. Stupid game. All right, stock the table. There we go. I've got a doll, a single fish, and a jungle machete. All right, who's ready to buy? Oh, God damn it. I pointed the table the wrong way. <laughs> so it's pointing towards my house. You, lady, you look like you could do with a sturgeon fish. Wait, what? No, hold on. Social distancing. What are you doing? What was she doing? just slurping all over my neck. Is this because the whole neighborhood thing, like, uh, romance is in? <laughs> I'll give you a kiss if you buy something for me. How is that for romance? It's not technically prostitution if you're buying something else from me and I just happen to kiss you anyway. <laughs> Look, here's pictures of the jungle knife in action. Please buy it. <laughs> Come on, someone buy my stuff. I set up this whole table. I made this banner and taped it on and everything. Please. <laughs> Put a lot of effort into this. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, that's adorable. Did your child do this? He's like, no, I did. God. Okay, you're shouting right into her face. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're also selling hearing aids. Oh, she bought the jungle machete. Screaming does work. Wait, why are you doing push-ups naked? How can I get to know you better? Oh. <laughs> Wait, oh, that was a child. You see, you shouldn't be doing that stuff out in a public parking lot. Doing naked push-ups. He's like, oh my God, a child. Don't run. Freeze. Stop right there. Oh my God, why is there so many naked people? Stop. You violated the law. You next. That kid is feckin' scared for life and now you will be too. Oh, welcome home. Turk. I've been selling my goodies at this table. <laughs> okay, you're missing work. You should you should go to work, Jim. This this isn't really working out, to be honest. No one wants the fish. Jim swiped an object while he was at work and he got promoted. Great! He got promoted a petty thief. Well, that's kind of fitting. <laughs> he stole something and they're like, God, you're good at what you do. Even if you stole from us. <laughs> this giant criminal enterprise. <laughs> okay, we need more cash or something. Because let's go back over there and steal more. <laughs> Wait, they're here. Oh, for feck's sake. <laughs> Alright, get recycling then. Look, tombstones. Yeah, recycle those. <laughs> <laughs> just like, it's been a lovely night, hasn't it? Ah, uh, just doing a bit of cooking. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely night for it. <laughs> oh, he's grinding up gravestones. Probably bodies and everything going into that. The thing is, one of them is his mom's gravestone. And <laughs> it just turned into a cube. She died right there. Well, she's dead. I don't know who painted this, but it looks like it might be expensive. Attempt to swipe. Turn, cause a distraction. There we go. Distracted. 
He's trying to eat his food, the poor guy. Oh, he got the painting. Great. They're great partners in crime, even if Turk doesn't want to admit it. Oh, I can't sell paintings here? God damn it, I swiped the wrong thing then. I just want to steal stuff and then sell it, okay? <laughs> Let's sell this to a collector. A collector wants their painting. <laughs> yep, it's a Jim Pickens original. <laughs> he signed it down the bottom corner. To be honest, if we got, like, some mass-produced paintings, like... Say, I don't know, something wild. We locked a load of people in the basement. They painted a load of paintings and Jim signed them. They'd be worth loads. Jim has got a reputation, you know. Okay, that's sold. Now, can I buy some solar panels so I can actually have some power? Power production rating 2. Wonder what else can we get? We can get a wind turbine up on the roof. That might be a good call. I do live down by the docks. There we go. I don't know if it's pointed the right way or not, but oh well. And we'll get some more solar panels as well. Not a bad day's work, I think. And I can get a household power generator. It's bad for the environment, but eh, if it helps me, who cares? I mean, this is the guy who bombed the whole neighborhood because they slightly pissed him off. But you know what? I think that's enough for one day. I think we succeeded in adding a lot of uh, energy items to the house so we can have our own power and I no longer have to pay bills. I'm just refusing to pay my taxes as well. I'm not sure if that's going to come back and bite me. I probably will. <laughs> but we're going to leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been enjoying this expansion so much. I think it's actually one of my favorites for Sims 4, if not my, my favorite entirely on Sims 4. I really, really like what they've done with it. It's really cool. And I think the soft reboot was a good idea, even though I know a few characters will be missed. But uh, if you missed the last episode, we basically did a little soft reboot and uh, ev Jim bombed everything. You kind of need to go watch it if you haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> to get to kind of get the context here but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I appreciate you watching as always folks and uh, if you want to see more of me I post every day as well as uh, stream on Twitch like five times a week the links in the description for that and other than that I guess I'll just say uh, I hope to see you next time so yeah that's about it bye for now